Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. And today I'm gonna to talk about Google Data Studio and connecting it to a Google Sheet so that you can use that as your database that you're gonna power your dashboards on Google Data Studio with. Now, if you don't know what Google Data Studio is, it is essentially a BI dashboard or a business intelligence dashboard. Well, we actually have up on the screen our very simple uh, dashboard guide where you can walk through this. It'll take you through adding a data source so they can use it and then creating your first chart and graph. Uh, if you're interested in using this, uh, I'll leave a link in the description so that anybody can access it, uh, but really up to you. Uh, if, if you haven't used it before, it's really great. It's a free product and I highly advise using it. Now, a lot of the times that you'll connect Data Studio, you can connect it to Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics or Search Console or Database. Uh, but sometimes you just wanna connect it to a simple you know, spreadsheet. So here we have Pokemon. Who doesn't like Pokemon? We got about 700 and something uh, Pokemon that we want to uh, provide within a Google Data Studio dashboard. So I'm gonna show you today is how to get that data source into Google Data Studio so that you can create a dashboard off of it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to the create button, click it and then select data source. Once you select data source, it's gonna bring you over to the selection screen for all the connectors. The Google connector that we want is Google Sheets. Once you click on that, it's gonna ask you to authorize and once you're authorized, just find the spreadsheet that you want to use. Click on the sheet and then hit connect. And Google will go through it and then create all the fields that you might need or you know, that, that it can find. If you wanna create more fields, you can totally do that. You can add a field, you can add a parameter as well. Uh, to add a field, just click on that button. Let's say there are two types right now, type one and type two. Instead of having two fields, maybe we just want one. So what you can do is you can go in here, create the concat just to combine those two. And then we can say type one, and then let's separate it out using a comma as a delimiter and then type two. That way we can have a generalized types uh, field instead of having type one and then type two. So we'll hit save for that. And then you go back, let's just say Pokemon sheet one. We can just say Pokemon list. And that's basically it. I don't think we need to do anything, but let me show you how you can use it in a report. Uh, once this is uh, this data search is added and it's already saved, you can go to create a report from scratch or you can use the explore. Uh, either one really works, it's really up to you, whichever one you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually use the explore option. I think uh, that'll be a little easier for us to go ahead and create a you know nice view and play around with that data. So once you enter it, it's going to automatically provide you with the table that you can use. You can also add in additional ones if you want to, let's say, you know, a stat column chart and then they'll just add it right to a particular area and then you can move that around as much as you want. So you can rearrange it and then that way, as you're messing around with all the data, you can visualize it in a nice way. And then you saw, I clicked on a, clicked on something over here and we don't actually wanna click on anything, it's just like this. And you can start to really mess around with the data and kind of see uh, what does your data look like once you start to visualize it? So I think we have here name and type. I don't think we care about that. There was uh, something in there for generation. And then instead of type one, let's just do types since we have that now. And now we can see all the different variations. So actually, I guess we have a null one there. We can, oh, we can bring that up here instead. And then that's, we don't care about the record counts. We want number here because that's a unique value and then this is a regular chart we'll do a stack chart and boom there we go so now using types like this so now we have the types and then you can also mess around with the uh, with the other side with the table and add in bunch of whatever you might want to add in, attack, defense, you know, all the standard Pokemon, <laughs> uh, things that you might care about, HP, all that. And you can also create filters here. If you want to do that, let's say, once it within the types, you want it to have a certain type um, in there, only select it, press and ground, let's say, apply that, and then it'll filter everything down to just that. But that is uh, how you add in a Google Sheet 
as a data source uh, in a nutshell with Data Studio. Super powerful if you have a really large data set, it works out pretty well. I think the, uh, there is a limit to how big of a data set that you can use uh, in, in Google Sheets. Of course, you know, the larger the data set, the slower it gets, um, but that's okay. That's where, you know, other storage methods uh, actually come into play like Google Cloud Storage, which we will actually tackle in the next video. Uh, but for now, if you do have trouble connecting your Google Sheets to your Google Data Studio, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. If you like the video, please hit the like button so that other people just like you can find this video and learn how to add Google Sheets to the Google Data Studio account so they can start creating dashboards. And like I mentioned, we'll be uh, releasing a video to go over Google Cloud Storage as well as Google Cloud SQL. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified as soon as we release that video. And then that way you can follow along and then start working with larger and larger and larger data sets in Data Studio, a very powerful and free BI tool by Google. But it's been a pleasure. Once again, I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools and we're out.